Good morning students, this is Latif sir. Today in this video I will discuss about carbon monoxide. It is a oxide of carbon and carbon monoxide the formula is CO. So carbon monoxide is another compound of carbon and oxygen and it is a colorless, odorless and highly poisonous gas and it is known as silent killer. It is known as silent killer. As it uh, as its present cannot be noticed until the harmful effects are experienced. The combustion of fossil fuels such as coal and petroleum in a limited supply of oxygen forms carbon monoxide. Okay, so when fossil fuel are burned in an in limited supply of oxygen, you will get carbon monoxide gas. And carbon monoxide further burns to give carbon dioxide gas. That is CO plus O2 implies CO2 plus energy. Now some important properties or characteristic of carbon monoxide. CO carbon monoxide is a reducing agent. Act as a reducing agent. Carbon monoxide gas act acts as a good reducing agent. It combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and it reduces metal oxide like zinc oxide. Okay, metal oxide to metal. Okay, so for example, when carbon monoxide redu uh, reacts with zinc oxide, it reduces zinc oxide to zinc and itself gets oxidized and itself gets oxidized to carbon dioxide. Okay, and the reaction is ZnO plus CO, zinc oxide plus CO, carbon monoxide implies zinc Zn plus CO2, carbon dioxide. Similarly, carbon monoxide can reduce lead oxide, iron oxide, iron 3 oxide, okay, to respective metal and carbon dioxide. Next characteristic property of carbon monoxide is, carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas. Carbon monoxide has a great affinity for the hemoglobin in blood than oxygen. Carbon monoxide has a great affinity for the hemoglobin in blood than oxygen. If inhale, uh, inhaled, carbon monoxide combines with hemoglobin to form a stable compound called carboxyhemoglobin, COHP, carboxyhemoglobin. And this compound deprives the blood and hence the blood, uh, body cell of body cell of oxygen as it uh, as it does not allow hemoglobin to absorb or carry oxygen. <coughs> now see here some bad effect of carbon monoxide given headache nausea these are important uh, symptoms of the presence of carbon monoxide in blood in a small amount large amount of carbon monoxide may lead to suffocation called asphyxia followed by brain damage and finally death Now some sources of carbon monoxide are given. Carbon monoxide is also uh, released as exhaust from automobiles and industries. Therefore, it, uh, it is advised not to stand behind the running engine of vehicle. Okay. <coughs> now see carbon dioxide cycle. What is carbon dioxide cycle? Carbon dioxide cycle. We know that carbon dioxide CO2 gas CO2 gas constitute about 0.03% to 0.04% of air by volume. There are many processes which release carbon dioxide and hence add the gas to the atmosphere. At the same time, however, there are many processes which consume 
carbon dioxide and hence it removes from the atmosphere. So together this processes help maintain the level of carbon dioxide in, in the air by the carbon dioxide cycle. Okay. So see some process processes that release carbon dioxide. So addition of carbon dioxide in atmosphere. See the processes addition of carbon dioxide in atmosphere. Respiration of living organism, decay of dead plant and animals, natural activities like volcano eruption from the sea water and combustion of fossil fuel emission of uh, emissions from factories and vehicles. These are some sources of carbon dioxide in atmosphere. Uh, now see processes that consume carbon dioxide that is removal of carbon dioxide from atmosphere. First method is photosynthesis. All green, uh, green parts of the plant absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to produce their food in the form of glucose. And second, the dissolution of carbon dioxide gas in water under high pressure when concentration of gas is more in the atmosphere. And this is carbon dioxide cycle. Okay. Now see greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect. Some gases in the atm uh, earth atmosphere, some gases in the earth atmosphere absorb infrared rays, and these gases are called greenhouse gases. The gases which can absorb infrared rays in the atmosphere, they are known as greenhouse ga uh, gases. And these gases, they keep our planet warm. And carbon dioxide is the main greenhouse gas. So now see the greenhouse effect works as follows. The sun emits heat, heat rays in the form of short wave infrared radiation. And these rays, they enter, they enter the earth, uh, earth's atmosphere. Next. The heat energy is absorbed by the earth atmosphere which, ga uh, which gets heated and re-emit infrared at longer wavelength. Okay, at longer wavelength. Next, some emitted heat, some emitted heat passes through the atmosphere back into the space while some heat is absorbed by carbon dioxide which is a greenhouse gas. And this trap of heat, this trap of heat with the art atmosphere as a result of, as a result the art become warm and this is known as greenhouse effect. Okay, so what is greenhouse effect? This is the heating of art at atmosphere due to presence of carbon dioxide green or greenhouse gases. In the atmosphere, the greenhouse gases can absorb the emitted heat. Emitted heat, they can they can absorb the emitted emitted heat in the atmosphere. The greenhouse effect is a natural process that keeps the earth uh, warm, the earth warm enough for the survival of living or organisms, and this has been essential to the evolution of life as we know it. However, since the industrial revolution, human have been releasing, uh, the, since the industrial revolution, humans have been releasing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere faster than natural processes can remove them. For example, Burning of fossil fuel releases carbon dioxide. The extra carbon dioxide increases the greenhouse effect, which makes the planet hotter than the uh, than it would be naturally, and this uh, this is causing an increase. This is causing an increase 
in the global temperature leading to global warming ok so global warming is being to trigger big changes in the environment the average temperature of the earth and the oceans is increasing slightly every decades and this is already causing polar ice caps to melt and sea level to rise so we must be wary of the enhanced greenhouse effect in order to save our earth to take effective measures to reduce it and photosynthesis photosynthesis is many times faster than respiration hence planting more and more trees producing the consumption of fossil fuels uh, reducing the consumption of fossil fuels and uh, using filter in the uh, chimney of factories are some essential measures to reduce global warming now see fire extinguisher what are fire extinguisher fire extinguisher are device that are used to put to uh, that are used to put out accidental fires okay fire extinguisher are device that are used to put used to put out accidental uh, fires different types of fire extinguisher are used to extinguish different types of fire a few common extinguisher are soda acid foam uh, soda acid foam based fire extinguisher liquid carbon dioxide fire extinguisher these are some type of uh, types of fire extinguisher soda acid uh, fire extinguisher foam based fire extinguisher and liquid carbon dioxide fire extinguisher in this device in this device carbon dioxide produced in different forms to extinguish fire now see first soda what uh, soda acid fire extinguisher it look like this okay soda acid fire extinguisher consists of a steel container uh, filled with sodium bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate solution in the upper part of the container a small sealed tube, uh, glass bottle of sulfuric acid is placed in the upper part of the container a small sealed glass bottle of sulfuric acid is placed okay so in this bottle sulfuric acid and sodium carbonate is used in soda acid fire extinguisher in case of fire the cylinder is inverted and the knob is struck against the ground and this breaks the glass bottle and allows the acid to come in contact with sodium carbonate and the reaction behind sodium carbonate and sulfuric acid produces carbon dioxide and water this is the reaction carbon dioxide and water which is released uh, from the nozzle with great uh, force when the knob is uh, pressed as it spread over the fire it produces a cooling effect and also cut the cut off the supply of air thus the thus the fire get extinguished okay. so soda acid fire extinguisher use water and helps to uh, extinguish all types of fires caused by wood paper coal textile etc however it uh, however they cannot be used in following cases in oil fire and essence uh, electrical fire okay now foam based fire extinguisher in foam based fire extinguisher aluminium sulfate aluminium sulfate in place of sulfuric acid and sodium bicarbonate are used aluminium sulfate and sodium bicarbonate are used along with saponin a foaming making substance is used in case of fire these chemicals are allowed to mix they re, uh, their reaction produces carbon dioxide and the reaction is sodium bicarbonate plus aluminium sulfate l 2 so 4 rise the products are sodium sulfate aluminium hydroxide and carbon dioxide 
okay so the reaction produces carbon dioxide and aluminum hydroxide which which <coughs> which gases out as foams as foam when the nozzle is released the foam has a cooling effect and cut cuts uh, cuts off the supply of oxygen and this type of fire extinguisher is used for extinguishing fire caused by oil however as the as its solution are prepared in water the a soda acid fire extinguisher also cannot be used for putting out electrical fire and last liquid carbon dioxide fire extinguisher liquid carbon dioxide fire extinguisher in liquid carbon dioxide fire extinguisher liquid carbon dioxide is stored in a cylinder under pressure and the cylinder look like this liquid carbon dioxide fire extinguisher okay so liquid carbon dioxide is stored in a cylinder under pressure when the extinguisher is turned on the pressure is released and the liquid carbon dioxide is converted into its gaseous state and this carbon dioxide gas cuts off the supply of oxygen to the burning material and extinguishes the fire and this type of extinguisher is used to extinguish fire caused by electrical electricity and oil okay so these are three basic types of fire extinguisher okay student this chapter is completed Thank you students.